So just like we did rectangular to cylindrical equation conversion, let's talk about doing rectangular to spherical equation conversion. Now you can also do cylindrical to spherical equation conversion. That tends to come up less often. Most of the time you'll start with one, uh, you'll start either in spherical and you'll rather have it in rectangular or vice versa. Anyway, let's get going. So we want to find an equivalent equation in spherical coordinates. So if I have z equals 6, well, I, I have some that's actually cylindrical as well, but I know that z is rho cosine phi. So I can take the same thing and I can say rho cosine phi equals 6, but sometimes, just from an equation standpoint, a lot of times you want to get one isolated. So it's more likely you would see 6 secant phi. Okay? Now, in this case, I've got x squared, y squared, and z squared. So I could just plug in these, and that would be fine. That would We could plug it in, we could simplify, but let's be a little more clever about it. If I say x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 4z squared equals 0, if I did something like that, then I could say, well, that's, that's rho squared minus 4 rho cosine phi squared equals 0, which is rho squared minus 4 rho squared cosine squared phi equals 0. Well, now I have a row squared on each term. So I can divide out that row squared, and I get 1 minus 4 cosine squared phi equals 0. 1 equals 4 cosine squared phi. 1 fourth is cosine squared phi. Cosine phi is 1 half. So I can reduce that all the way down to that particular representation. In this case, x equals 13. Well, that's going to be similar to the way you would do z here. So you would say rho sine phi cosine theta equals 13. And we'd probably want to isolate rho. So we would say rho equals 13 cosecant phi secant theta. And finally, I have this. Now, this is very similar to this. We can go ahead and say, okay, well, I know that's rho squared. So I can say rho squared minus 9 rho cosine phi equals 0. And I can cancel out one row. I can't cancel out both of them, but I can say rho minus 9 cosine phi equals 0, which is rho equals 9 cosine phi. And that's how you would convert from spherical to Cartesian, or sorry, how you convert Cartesian to spherical. So let's go the other way. Let's, let's start with spherical and go to Cartesian. All right, so I have theta equals 3 pi over 4. So if I, if I remember correctly, that's, that's a rotation of just 3 pi over 4. It should be a plane, so it's like a line, but then it extends out with a plane. So if I think about that, if I know that it's really a line in the xy plane that's projected, then it's going to be some sort of function of x and y. So I've got to think, well, if it's a function of x and y, well, I know that tangent of theta is y over x. So tangent of theta is tangent of 3 pi over 4. And 3 pi over 4, tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. So y over x equals negative 1. So y equals negative x. And so that's a line in the xy plane, but it's a, you know, it's a plane overall. Uh, so now we have phi is equal to theta, or <coughs> phi is pi over 2. And that's going to be different than theta here because the phi equals pi over 2 
is a relationship to it, how it comes off the z-axis. So we can't quite use this. But we do know, we do know some other information. We know that z is rho cosine phi and we know that you know the r is related here so what happens if i take cosine of both sides does that help me does that help me at all well if i take cosine of both sides i get that cosine phi is equal to cosine of pi over 2. So cosine of phi is 0. K, well, what if I do rho cosine phi? And so that's still 0 because I'm multiplying both sides. So that tells me that z equals 0. Now, does that... The question you might ask yourself then, does that make sense? Is that a is that a valid is that a valid statement? Because I've sort of cheated by using the zero here. Well let's think about what phi equals pi over two means. Phi equals pi over two means that's all the points such that z starts at the at the positive and finds itself on the xy plane. So it always falls down to the xy plane. So that's all the values on the xy plane. So that's basically just every value for which z equals a zero. Okay, rho equals two secant theta. Now remember that um, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So this is like saying rho equals 2 times 1 over cosine of phi. So if I multiply both sides times cosine phi, I get 2. Well, cos rho cosine phi is z. So that's just saying that that's the plane z equals 2. And finally, I have rho equals 4 cosecant phi secant theta. Now again, remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So rho sine phi cosine theta is equal to 4. Rho sine phi cosine theta is just x, so this is x equals 4. And those are equivalent equations.